We're in the second preliminary round of the men's 60 kilogram lightweight tournament, and what a matchup we have in prospect here. Because the two th Southpaws squaring off are both medalists from the 2015 edition of the Commonwealth Youth Games. That event took place in Samoa, and the man in blue representing Northern Ireland, James McGiven, came away with Commonwealth Youth Games gold in the 56 kilogram bantamweight division. His opponent, wearing red, Emmanuel Ngoma of Zambia, came away with bronze, lost in the semi-final against William Stewart, who McGiven defeated in the gold medal bout. I think Ungoma will soon realise that he's got to stop um, McGiven's movement. McGiven is a very, very tidy boxer indeed. Likes his opponents to come onto the shot. That was better from Ungoma. But Ungoma, I think, uh, like I said, he's, he's soon going to realise he's got to close that gap down and stop that movement because McGiven, if he gets into his rhythm, if he's allowed that time and space and full range of movement, then he'll start to gain control. So Ungoma. He's got to get to his man here and disrupt the rhythm of the Northern Irishman. Verma has switched from the Southpaw stance to compete as an orthodox boxer. Since earlier on in the round, a cracking exchange of shots with McGiven on the ropes. But McGiven, success with straight shots as he moves himself to the space of centre ring. Corks through right hand wasn't too far away from McGiven. The follow-up left hand just glancing and goma see the pace is suiting mcgiven and that's what he's good at he's good at controlling the pace this fella in blue boxing from the center of the ring in and out with the feet slowing things down so we can see the attacks coming that's why ngoma has got to close the gap a little bit quicker and probably up the tempo here the man in red at the moment mcgiven i think's in control he's controlling that pace boxing very well as i said that gets cool with the shot Good right hand from Ngoma. McGiven just walks him onto a right jab there. So plenty of patience being exhibited by both boxers, but lovely use of the right jab from McGiven. Fainting by both boxers, but the man who struck with the lead right jab and then a beautiful check right hand was McGiven. The second shot saw him pivot off away to his right, away from any attempted retaliation. Very good punch picking by James McGiven in the closing stages of that opening round. John Conlon, the Northern Irish coach, will be really pleased with his man's work there. That's telling him just to work more with his jab, controlling things with that lead hand. Just got to watch Ngoma's attacks like that. Ngoma's coming forward occasionally and catching McGiven. Caught him there. But McGiven, I thought, controlled things very well. Controlled the pace, which was the most important thing in that round. So it's one round to him on my scorecard. So we're into the second round and right on top of the logo, James McGiven comes out and establishes a ramrod right jab. And again, look at the way he's just picking off the advancing Ngoma with straight punches. There's a lovely, another lovely right jab once again. And Ngoma's just being picked off as he tries to advance and left flailing into the stadium night air. Finding himself over the top rope where McGiven was back in the space of centre ring. Wonderful boxing and moving by James McGiven. The problem Ngoma's got, Ronald, he's probably thinking about his attacks for too long. He's waiting, 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 then he goes. It's, it's, it's not fast enough. He's got to sustain the pressure a little bit more, double up the attacks. You know, slightly vary his, his, his movement with his feet in terms of uh, different angles. Quicken his feet up. He's just... He's a little bit too slow off the marks. He's waiting again. That's allowing McGiven just to pick him off. 
You can't afford to wait like that and go, and that's why he's been outboxed here. Oh, lovely punch picking there for McGiven and a standing count, rightly so. What a start to the second round by James McGiven. Absolutely beautiful boxing. And Ngoma, well, he's got problems here because he simply cannot avoid the rapier-like rights and lefts coming from the southpaw stance of the boxer in blue. Again, just being walked on to left hands. They're not heavy punches, but they're point-scoring punches. And then he whips a long right around the corner. And as well as a standing count, Ngoma has been sent to the canvas. Two counts in the second round. And he's been stopped. James McGiven with a brilliant display of boxing produces a second round stoppage over Emmanuel Ngoma. And he goes through to the quarterfinals where he'll face off against a man from Mauritius. What a brilliant display of punch picking by the 20 year old from Belfast. Absolutely sensational. And Ngoma left bamboozled by the precise punching of the man in blue. That was great work, that was, wasn't it? It was a one-two there, went in, there's that left hand. And then he brings him onto a right hook as he's moving away. So that was excellent boxing and adjusting his feet to maintain a gap. There's that little right hook around the corner. The referee obviously wasn't happy with what he's seen in um, Ngoma's eyes. Good performance from McGibbon. A punch-perfect performance from James McGiven sees him score a second-round stoppage over Emmanuel Ngoma, and he goes through to the quarterfinals, where his confidence will be surging after that brilliant display of boxing.